This video is sponsored by Surfshark. If what we're saying about disruptive innovation is correct, it probably means the amount of creative destruction out there is going to be pretty serious. And, and I think it will hit, again, the traditional world order. We've never been in this uh, kind of period before. Things are changing fast. Some might even say too fast. Human beings are not designed for constant, abrupt changes to how they live or the way they think. Most of human history didn't have to deal with those changes because they didn't happen very often. Societies evolved slowly until the first industrial revolution. From there, things started to change fast, and then exponentially fast. After the technological revolution or the second industrial revolution, with several technological advancements and the exponential increase in computer processing power, we are now fast approaching the next big societal phenomenon coming down the pipe, the increasing and accelerating impact of automation, machine learning and AI. We are about to witness this decade go down in history as the time that started the next revolution. With Tesla leading the automotive industry towards electric mobility and auto Automation, the 2020s could be a destructive decade of innovation that will change industries forever, leading to some big OEMs shrinking dramatically or disappearing completely. This is a macro level phenomenon that can easily go unnoticed until it has already happened. To understand something so massive, we have to break it down into more digestible chunks to paint the big picture. Sit comfortably and watch till the end as we unravel this story, but first let's get plugged in. You might have a feeling that something big is looming ahead, something that will change the way we live forever. That's because part of you already can see where things are headed. For better and worse, it will all come to pass one day, and we don't really have a choice other than to go along with the changes. I bet some of you had already forgotten the days when smartphones didn't exist, which bring almost everything to our fingertips or the days the internet didn't exist. It's so easy to take these things for granted and not see the level of societal impact they've had on us. But what has been happening in the last 15 to 25 years was merely planting the seeds for what's coming in the years ahead. Something of this magnitude that's accelerating so fast has even the experts baffled at how quickly things are shifting. Even we who we spend all of our time in uh, the research and investing around these ideas. And even we, at the end of the year, as we're summarizing how big these ideas are, we are sometimes stunned when we pull away at how quickly this is happening, so quickly. To understand where all this is headed, you have to look at this as a jigsaw puzzle. So let's begin with the most obvious piece, automation and AI. Tesla leads in the self-driving car space with the most real-world data collected from the fleet of Tesla vehicles on the road. Our earlier video about the top autonomous vehicle companies mentioned that Tesla collects approximately 1 billion miles of data every month, but that was based on 1 million Tesla vehicles on the road. That number has since increased by approximately 50%, meaning Tesla has over 1.5 million vehicles on the road today. So the data collected now is approximately 1.5 billion miles of data each month. This will continue to increase long into the future as more Tesla vehicles come online. According to Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, Tesla has collected well over 30 billion miles of real-world data to date. Compared to the approximately 35 million miles of data collected by Waymo, Tesla has an enormous lead. Uh, it is the companies that have been collecting data. Data is the new oil. I know that's trite, but it really is in this case. But it's not just the large pools of data, it's also about the quality of the data. Tesla has both and they also have the expertise, the right software, the necessary hardware and a neural network working with their AI that keeps learning and getting better over time. A big part of making self-driving cars a reality is solving computer vision. Once you solve cameras uh, of vision, uh, then autonomy is solved. If you don't solve vision, it's not solved. So that, that's why our focus is so heavily on having a, a vision neural net that's very effective for road conditions. 
If we can teach an AI to understand the world around it, this will unlock so many new technologies and bring about new industries. But more on that later in the video. Today, a limited number of the beta version of Tesla's full self-driving software is being tested by select people. The beta shows how far the self-driving software really is and how quickly it's improving. Elon Musk has been talking about releasing the beta to more people in the coming weeks or months, which will add to the pool of high-quality data collected for Tesla's neural network and the deep learning AI. AI, bringing level 5 full autonomy even closer to reality. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. Once computer vision is solved, level 5 autonomy is likely to become a reality very quickly, paving the way for autonomous ride-hailing vehicles such as Tesla's robotaxis. So there will be a shared autonomy fleet where you buy your car and you can choose to use that car exclusively. Um, you could choose to um, have it be used only by friends and family, only by uh, five star, other drivers who are rated five star. You can choose to uh, share it sometimes, but not other times. Um, that's 100% that's, that's what will occur. It's just a question of when. This will enable any Tesla owner to take part in the robotaxi service to make a decent side income. The potential is enormous, and it's estimated that you could earn up to $30,000 a year just from having your car drive people around. This alone would quickly cover the rising price of Tesla's full self-driving package, which currently sits at $10,000. This will likely continue to increase, but what will be the cap? Looking at the potential revenue from such services, the price will likely end up being much higher than it is today. If you're one of the lucky few who got in early, I bet you're smiling right now. And guys, if you're enjoying the video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up to help the video reach more people. Now, let's get back to it. Tesla will likely have its own robotaxi fleet for public use. And if Tesla achieves full self-driving before the upcoming $25,000 car, Tesla will begin its robotaxi service with the Model 3, only a more stripped-down version. But it's more likely that Tesla will produce a new vehicle that is very low cost with no steering wheel, no pedals, or any other instruments meant for the driver, with the least expensive battery pack to make the car as cheap as possible. This could potentially be based on the new upcoming model teased on the battery day last year that will cost only $25,000. A Tesla vehicle for only $25,000 is likely to have massive demand, requiring its own factory and a production line to meet all the demand. Recently, photos and videos emerged of a site south of the main factory in Shanghai, which suggests that Tesla might be still expanding the Shanghai factory, which could be where the new $25,000 car will be produced. Reportedly, Tesla was the sole bidder for the site. However, this information has not yet been confirmed by Tesla as of making this video. But if this is true, the new model will likely be manufactured in this facility, which means it might still be on track for the 2023 release. The car will be a game changer in the automotive industry, but it will also profoundly impact the ride-hailing service by making it as cheap as 18 cents per mile, when it currently costs between $2 to $3 per mile. And what's interesting about, to me, the autonomous taxi space is if you can deliver autonomous taxis, you should unlock a huge market opportunity measured in the trillions of dollars. Just within equity markets, if somebody's doing a trillion plus dollars in operating profits, you should be willing to pay, you know, well north of $10 trillion for that collective set of entities. According to Kathy Wood, the ride-hailing industry is valued at around $200 billion, and this is expected to grow well beyond $1 trillion in the coming years. The rest of the value will come from services that don't necessarily exist yet, but will be unlocked once self-driving cars become a reality. Think of the potential for additional services when you're completely liberated from the mundane task of driving every day, allowing you to use the same time to be more productive, spend that time on entertainment, or simply sleeping. Liberating the human potential from such mundane tasks will usher in a new era assisted by AI. This will affect transportation and many other industries that have repetitive tasks that the AI will take over, allowing humans to focus more on creative and meaningful tasks. When your attention is liberated from the road, that same attention can be now directed to in-car services that could bring in more revenue not just to Tesla, but also to any company taking part in these services. The potential here is almost endless, and we haven't even begun yet. From virtual worlds and digital wallets, Bitcoin, electric vehicles, autonomous automation, uh, drones, orbital aerospace, as you mentioned, the uh, DNA sequencing. Uh, AI is going to touch 
every one of these. And as everything is more connected and reliant on the internet, it's more important than ever before to make sure your information stays safe. If you've ever used public Wi-Fi at a coffee shop or at an airport, your data is not very secure and using a VPN service can encrypt your data and ensure that nobody can see what you're doing. And with an exit node in some other location, people can't even tell where you're coming from. This is interesting for a couple of reasons. For one, if you're doing any kind of shopping online, using a different location, for example, when you buy airplane tickets or book a hotel, it can actually give you cheaper prices based on where they think you're coming from. Where you're coming from might determine what kind of TV shows you're able to watch on streaming services like Netflix. So take your online services to the next level and go to surfshark.deal slash evsource. The link is also in the description and enter the promo code evsource to get 83% off and three months for free. Try it out. The service costs only a couple bucks a month and if you don't like it, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. Now let's get back to it. As Tesla is continuously pushing to increase its production rate and with new vehicles on the horizon, the Cybertruck, the Semi-Truck, the new Roadster, and the high volume $25,000 car, legitimate questions and concerns are arising about how Tesla will keep up with the demand when they already are battery constrained. The answer lies in last year's battery day, where Tesla unveiled its plans that will allow them to tackle almost every problem all at once. The next generation factories will not be gigafactories, they will be terafactories. You might assume the new factories will be much larger with bigger footprint, but the truth is, they will be smaller. The company estimates an approximately 35% decrease in floor space and 75% decrease in investment per gigawatt hour. Currently, Tesla's body shop has hundreds of robots working almost 24-7, building the underbody or chassis of its vehicles. Tesla's Gigapress, a large casting machine that is already making Model Y's rear chassis in one piece, can make approximately 300 robots obsolete. And when, not if, Tesla starts making the front chassis in a single piece, this will remove another 300 robots from the factory floor. And this is exactly the plan with the Berlin Gigafactory for the Model Y. Both pieces will come together with the structural battery pack, which in itself could be the third piece of the chassis cast in a single piece. This alone is a revolutionary step forward in how we make cars. But that's not even the ultimate plan because Tesla already has a patent for a casting machine that would mold almost the entire body of a vehicle in just one single piece. Think of it as a large and very complex cookie cutter that makes cars. And of course, none of this would have been possible if Tesla did not invent its own special aluminum alloy which is perhaps the biggest reason why nobody else is doing this yet. This design will reduce build time, operation costs, costs of manufacturing, factory footprint, factory operating costs, tooling costs, and quantity of equipment. So Tesla will be able to make more cars in a shorter time span while saving in costs and trickle down the cost savings to its vehicles, making them more affordable. But this still doesn't fix the problem with battery shortage. That would definitely slow down the production rate. Enter the new battery. Tesla's battery engineers have found the perfect size for its batteries. It's like the sweet spot between capacity and cost. These battery cells are already being manufactured at Tesla's Fremont factory in a test facility. They currently have only one production line for the batteries, but this one production line will eventually produce up to 20 gigawatt hours of batteries in a year, which is seven times more than the current production lines. To put things into perspective, the entire Nevada factory in partnership with Panasonic is currently producing approximately 35 gigawatt hours in a year. Installing these battery lines in a factory the size of Giga Nevada would open the door for well over 1 terawatt hour production rates. And because Tesla is now also getting into the mining business, getting the raw materials for batteries will be less of an issue. But surprisingly enough, it's not lithium that's the problem. It's nickel. You see, Tesla's batteries use different chemistries depending on the vehicle and the usage. They come in three different tiers. While the highest volume production vehicles will likely use less nickel, the Semi and the Cybertruck will have much larger battery packs. With the Cybertruck expected to be another mass market vehicle, with pre-orders estimated to be around 1 million vehicles, it will eventually catch up to Tesla's battery production unless they have already addressed the bottleneck in their supply chain. With these pending innovations expected to happen in the near term future, Tesla's vehicle production rate will grow exponentially. Now, Wall Street predicts Tesla will deliver 52% more vehicles in 2021 than in 2020. 
which means Tesla would deliver about 750,000 vehicles this year. These numbers are very conservative because looking at the output levels of just Fremont factory that will produce about 600,000 vehicles when at max capacity and Shanghai factory that is currently manufacturing at a rate of 450,000 vehicles a year, Tesla could get very close to a million vehicles in 2021 or even exceed that. Now add in the vehicles produced at Giga Berlin, which is expected to begin production of Model 3 and Model Y as early as July 2021, Tesla could easily produce over 1 million vehicles in 2021, making it a 100% increase in production output year over year. And let's not forget the Texas factory, which is still scheduled to start producing the Cybertruck later this year. With all the planned upgrades and next generation factories in the future, Tesla could soon become one of the largest vehicle manufacturers in the world, if not the largest. Remember Remember, Tesla is much more than just a car company. They're a tech company that also makes cars, among other energy products such as solar roofs and grid-scale energy storage units. These technologies alone will be very disruptive in power utilities. And when Tesla cracks full self-driving, nothing will be the same ever again. As mentioned earlier in the video, solving computer vision will not only bring about self-driving cars, but it will be the catalyst for the next revolution that will usher in a new era of AI-based technologies. If an AI can understand the world around it, all of a sudden many things that we could only imagine become a possibility. For instance, it could help in the medical industry, for example, in analyzing individual cells from samples containing thousands of cells that have to be visually analyzed. It's a tedious process for a human, and we are prone to making mistakes, but it's an easy and quick task for a computer. But eventually, computer vision could enable robots to quickly learn to interact with the world, instead of stumbling like children. There will come the point when technologies merge, for instance, computer vision with other sophisticated technologies and AIs. Advanced robotics and Google's search engine could bring new technologies that will forever change industries. The algorithms running behind every keystroke on Google's platforms are mind-boggling. Even YouTube, which is owned by Google, runs on very sophisticated algorithms. The possibilities are almost endless, and there are many things that we can't even imagine today, but will become a reality one day. At this point, Tesla's lead seems unassailable, and nobody seems to come anywhere near to where Tesla is today. What will the world look like when robotics, automation, and AI become everyday things just like the internet and smartphones have? One thing is certain, they will unlock new possibilities that we have only seen in science fiction movies and with impacts we probably can't even imagine yet. If these ideas got you thinking, leave your thoughts below. We do read all the comments. And if you're still here, our deepest appreciation goes out to you for tuning in. If you want to help out the channel and support our work, consider becoming a patron and gain access to exclusive posts, videos, and a private community of like-minded people. You can now also join the channel membership here on YouTube and gain access to exclusive perks, posts and videos. And as a gesture of our appreciation for your kind support, we will plant a tree for every member joining the channel membership for $5 or more. The same applies to Patreon supporters. And if you own a Tesla, get 10% off on all Tesla accessories when shopping at Abstract Ocean using the code EVSource or the link in the description. But in the end, the best form of support is having you watch and enjoy our videos. Thank you to all the Patreon producers and a special thanks to our power producer in Kukang. Also, a warm welcome to all the channel members who have already already joined the team. Thank you to everyone for the support. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry and this is EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.